be advised. If the opinions and views of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. Also this country, hindi makikita yung mga uh, pinagalingan natin. Ito, pasay ito, susundo ka ng doktor. Abuli ka ng aso. Kalabas ng tinanas ka. Hindi nililinig sa mga ng pork barrel ka sa usually. Nung patay, papabigyan ko ng 5,000. From my... So, hindi ko hangat. Hindi ko hangat. Na hindi. Dahil baka kanyari, lahat ng madi-dismiss, mga hostage na lang para ma-reinstate. Magandang gabi po sa inyo lahat. Welcome to our show, Heartbeat Live. I'm your host, Ray Orosa. Magkakasama po tayo dito at pag-usap sa inyo for the next uh, 50 or so minutes. At uh, sa gabi pong ito, ako'y nagagalak na meron tayong napaka-prominent uh, po na ating panauhin na makakausap dito tungkol sa mga bagay-bagay po na hinaharap ng ating bansa. Kanya lang po, bago tayo magumpisa at bago ko ipakilala sa inyo kung sino ang ating panauhin sa gabing ito, ay gusto ko lang balikan kayo at sabihin na kung kayo po magte-text, huwag niyong kalimutan, bigay niyo ang pangalan ninyo at kung saan kayo nandun. Kasi Marawi City, Iligan City, Camarini Sur, etc. Katulad po nung sinabi natin ng huling uh, programa natin, uh, we, choose, uh, we will be choosing one or two or three texts every program na sa tingin namin mga text na nakakatuwa o malalim o maganda. At uh, um, bilang gantimpala po na napakaliit, magpapasalood kami sa inyo ng isang daang piso pagka napili yung text ninyo. Kanya, kaya sa gabi pong ito, umpisahan natin yan. Uh, last week po, ito ang mga napili naming text. Una-una, galing kay eh, James sabi, uh, ng 09351892519. Good PM, sir. Si James po ito ng Kamsur. Kahit pa paano, pa, po okay din may CPP NPA. Kasi po, sa totoo lang, ah... Uh, Tingnan natin at medyo nabitin. Uh, tuto, sa totoo lang po, karamihan ang nasa gobyerno, mga abusado like mga TMG, yun ang Traffic Management Group, LTO at saka mga PNP. Lalo na sa NSA Highway, high, uh, highway try nyo pong bumiyahe from Southern Luzon to NCR. Daming cotton cups di nawawala. Try nyo pong sumak, sumakay sa mga tracking. Mga abusado po sila, lalo na kung ala yung kabayo. Okay, nakakalungkot ay we will send you that 100 peso electronic load. Pero nakakalungkot na ang ang sinisisim ng taong bayan ganoon at sinasabi na ang CPP NPA hindi na naiiba sa mga local officials natin. Kawawa naman tong bansa natin. Yung pangalawa na amin padadala ng 100 peso pasa load po. So yung 09993406412 mula kay Ferwina Sali of Bongao, Tawi-Tawi. Sir, dapat talaga tayo magkaisa kahit Muslim o Christian. Filipino pa rin tayo lahat. Uh, thank you for those nice thoughts. Fermina, and the third text po na paradala namin uh, sa Dang Pasalod, 0947-369-2310. Si Marco Hernandez po of Malate, Manila. Good evening, sir. Nakaka-inspire po ang mga salita nyo. Uy, concern ko lang po, bakit kailangan sirain o patagin ang mga Kabundukan natin, ganong hindi na po ito maibabalik pa at nakikita na po natin ang resulta. Hindi ba talaga kaya ipatupad ang batas para sa bukas ng susunod na, susunod na henerasyon? Okay, so kayong tatlo na tagpadala ng text last week will be receiving a pasalod as a sign of our own gratitude for your uh, interest in watching this program. Alam po ninyo, sa gabing ito, ako'y galak na galak na nakakapil, makakapiling po natin dito. Wala na pong iba kung hindi isang taong kilala naman ninyo at binoto ninyo into office. Eh. After six years of being out, put you back. Or three years of being out, put him back in the Senate. Wala na pong iba kung hindi si Sir, Senator Serge Osmeña. Welcome, Serge. Thank you for being here Thanks, with us Ray. tonight. I'm glad to be back. Okay. Alam po ninyo, ito, ito si Senator Osmeña eh, is known for his independence. Ah, uh, 
uh, he does not necessarily always follow the party line. But that's good because that means he thinks for himself. Right or wrong, or agree kayo or hindi kayo agree, but at least he has his own opinions. And I think that is good. That helps to enrich the discussion and the consideration of issues in this nation. Mahirap yung paray sunod-sunuran lang, hindi ba, sir? Kailangan, eh, you have to have your own <coughs> thought. And that's part of the program, uh, you know, purpose of this program. We want you to be able to think. Gusto naming matuto kayo mag-isip ng matino at mabuti at malalim tungkol sa mga issue na hinaharap dito sa ating bansa. Uh, Serge, uh, you asked me what we're going to talk about, and I have a lot of questions for you tonight. <coughs> uh, and gusto ko lang umpisahan ito dito, for example, uh, lumabas na naman sa balita kasi na pinakamataas na raw ng presyo ng kuryente sa buong Asia ang Pilipinas, lampas na sa Japan, langpas na sa Singapore. Why is it that our power rates are so doggone expensive? Now, many of these other nations also do not have oil. Certainly, Singapore does not, Japan does not, and we have a little bit sa malampaya, meron tayong konti. Pero bakit ganun? What is the structure of our power industry such that uh, bihag ba ang pamahalaan o ang ERC ng mga interest na ito kanya hindi na bumababa ya ang mga uh, rates na yan? Alam mo, maraming kaso dyan eh. Number one, and I think the number one is uh, most of our plants here are old. The oil, the oil, uh, the, um, the coal plants. So medyo inefficient. Okay. Number But we also have a lot of hydro Diba? Hydroelectric from the dams. Meron din tayong volcanic. volcanic. Oh. No, that's why I was saying uh, there are several reasons. Number two, they tie the price of our geothermal to coal. So, yung geothermal dapat sunk cost na yun, fixed na yun. Hindi. Before, they, uh, before the government sold the, uh, bidded out the EDC, the Energy Development Corporation, yan po may ari ng mga most of the geothermal plants dito. They signed a new pricing agreement that it will be tied to coal. Uh, bakit naman tinay sa coal? Sapagkat yung coal, world market price, pataas ng pataas, di ba? Uh -oh. That's two. Three, the uh, IPPAs, the power purchase agreements na pinirmahan during the Ramos time, were just overpriced. Yeah, the, 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 the terms under which those IPP contracts were given during the Ramos administration is something that should make President, former President Ramos And you know, sleepless at night. Uh, and daming daming nagsasabi na it was, it was a total giveaway. Total giveaway, talaga. And then number four, before we were number two about 10 years ago, we uh -oh. were already the second highest in Asia. Uh, next only well, to we've now succeeded to be number one. Next only to, to Japan. But uh, you must take into consideration, tinignan ko yung mga pricing sa Japan, pricing sa Korea, pricing sa... Mm. Uh, Malaysia, pricing sa Thailand, they're subsidized. As, okay. uh, as a matter of fact, pag uh, industrialist ka at pumunta ka sa, sa Thailand, uh, they will tell you, I'll give it to you at 3 pesos per kilowatt hour. Basta industry. Uh -oh. So you cannot compete with that. I-factor mo yan sa mga rates nila, eh talagang bababa yung rates nila. Five, except for Japan and Singapore, by the way, Singapore is higher than us in the industrial commercial rate. We're only number two. But if you factor in your residential rates, not in number one. average, number one tayo. Well, I know, uh, I remember that you said before that the part of the reason for this is the high price of oil, and you did not think at that time that it was going to go below $100 to $120, but it has gone down below that. Why are the power, power, uh, power rates still so high? Well, uh, when we passed the law, the EPIRA, the oh. Electric Power Industry Reform Act in 2001, the rates, uh, the price of oil was $30 per barrel. Oh, I, I understand that. I mean, you know, so when people complain, they say, muna pare, $30 noon, eh, $100 na tayo ngayon, maabot po, pumapalo pa ng $120 about three or four, four months ago. No? So, um, like I said, there are several reasons. There's no one reason, and I, I've given you five. Oh. Is, there, is it time for us to consider the nuclear option? Um, I'm not against nuclear. Oh. But you ask the people if they're in favor because nobody will want it cited where they live. Well, <laughs> there are a lot of very real and tangible uh, uh, safety issues, especially after what happened in Fukushima in Japan. Mm -hmm. But, you know, there, are, there is a lot of uh, things that I have been hearing about 
that much of the issues on nuclear safety have been answered and it is a very, very technical